A satire of the prevalence of atheism adapted for stage makes its theatrical debut tonight. The Loser Letters is slated for 10 performances at the Catholic University of America here in Washington. I recently sat down with the novel's author on what's being called a creative response to radical secularism. Mary Eberstadt is the author of The Loser Letters, a comic tale of life, death, and atheism. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me back, Lauren. Okay, what does this mean? A comic tale of life, death, and atheism. Tell me about the play. It's intended to be fun, and it's also intended to make people think. The Loser Letters is a very countercultural book, and it's a countercultural play. It's about a girl who is searching for the big questions in life and their answers. And she has found herself in a spot that a lot of young people get into. She is an unbeliever. Mm -hmm. And the play explores the reasons for her unbelief from a very unusual point of view. You talk about the new atheism. What are some of examples of it impacting young Catholics? And that comes up as a theme. Yes, about 10 years ago, the new atheists were riding high on bestseller lists. There were uh, lots of books, lots of talk in the air about godlessness. They're not in the headlines anymore, but I think that there was a trickle-down effect of all that, and I think they gave the impression that to be cool was to be on the side of unbelief, and I think a lot of young people especially have absorbed that message unconsciously, and that's part of what we're trying to address with this play. And I love how you've put Olympic silver medal gymnast Chelsea Memel in, in there, portraying the shadow. That brings in um, culture from outside the religious community. Um, why did you do that, and what has been your role with the cast? Well, Jeffrey Fisk, the playwright who also adapted the play, was responsible for bringing in all this great talent. There's a choreographer with 14 Helen Hayes Awards, for example, and Jeffrey himself is well known around the country for having adapted and directed the long-running version of the Screw Tape Letters. So we have a lot of bells and whistles that we hope pull people in and make it fun to watch. Mary Eberstadt is author of The Loser Letters, A Comic Tale of Life, Death, and Atheism. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lauren.